30th, here we are, the last day of September. I don't know about you, but it went rather quickly for me. And uh, you know, I thought about being a Catholic, which I enjoy one of many things, I guess, is that how we have a certain love, honor for our saints. And we celebrate their feast days. You know, we have big feast days, of course, Easter and Christmas, those are special occasions, of course. But during the year, we have these saints pop up and it just makes it a little bit special, at least for me, the ones I look forward to. And I kind of like today's feast day. It's not a huge for but many, you know, most people, I guess. But it's St. Jerome. And I chose him because of his love for scripture. But first, I'd like to read from Psalm 17. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from the lips without deceit. A good old St. Jerome. What he's noted for was translating the Bible into Latin, what's always called the Vulg Vulgate. The Vulga mean of the common person. You know, I mean, I mean, you would say vulgarity usually has a negative connotation, but the vulga means the language of the common man, common person. So they, um, well, they probably couldn't read the Bible. Many couldn't read or, or couldn't afford a Bible, but at least now it was, it was accessible. You know, I know those who were attended uh, in a certain age, we were brought up really not reading the Bible. You might have had a Bible, but it's probably on the coffee table and maybe kept it for family records. And... If we're honest, we probably weren't encouraged to read the Bible on our own. The fear was that too many people read, would read the Bible and they have their own interpretation of what it meant and many began other religions and fall away and you know get off track. So the church was a little bit hesitant of that. And so we kind of restricted the Bible when we come to church, we hear it during masses and hopefully a priest would speak about it. But now times have changed and now we're really encouraging uh, people to read the Bible, make it part of your life. And I really want to encourage you as well to, to make the Bible part of your, a part of your life. One simple way, you have Father Michael Schmitz, right? He was the Bible in a year. You can do that while you're working, while you're driving, going for a walk. Fill your mind, fill your soul with that great, with God's word. And there are other resources as as well, as as well. So put the Bible, especially read the Bible, maybe at night before you fall asleep. It's great. The last thing you hear or think about will be God's word. Give you a good night rest and clear your mind of any negative thoughts, bruised feelings, just God's word is soothing. And so Jerome said this, one of his favorite thing is, uh, ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. So you want to know the Lord Jesus, you have to know scripture. So in the feast of St. Jerome, make, I encourage you to make the Bible part of your prayer life, a little bit each day. Don't read simply to say you you know, check a box, but allow God's word to seep in deeply. You don't have to read a lot each day. Sometimes it could be a verse or two. And let it just stay with it, sit with it, and let God speak to you. So, Sir Jerome, thank you for your work, and may we too love God's word as you have loved it. Amen.